Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of the uh, Need for Speed Run Dev Insider. We're here with Andy Blackmore, who is the uh, lead vehicle styling director for Need for Speed as a franchise. So you've been working on Need for Speed forever. You've been on uh, yeah. our podcast a bunch of times. We've had you on video, so uh, welcome back and, and the community will, will know you. So this week we're here to talk about uh, the cars of the run. And so far we've revealed, by the time everyone sees this, we've revealed seven. Yeah. So we had the five that we revealed when uh, we went to E3, and then this week we revealed an additional two, the uh, the Nissan Fair Lady 240ZG, as well as the Mazda MX-5. Um, could you talk a little bit about uh, the criteria that went into the car selection for this game? Sure. Yeah. Um, so a long time ago, um, yeah. we decided to pull lots of resources, uh, choose some people who had a very good understanding of car culture, car fans, petrol heads. Uh, and that included uh, of myself, other people, producers, um, guys from Speed Hunters, mm -hmm. and literally do a cool wall of cars. Uh, what was cool, uh, what was relevant uh, in terms of class, in terms of age. So we ended up with a very eclectic mix, um, and that enables us to have uh, cars that we should appeal to different markets, like you know, obviously with muscle cars and with classics, mm -hmm. like the Nissan 240ZG, for example. And also cars that are very popular, Mazda MX-5 is the perfect example because you know that's one of the most well-known, yeah. you know, affordable sports cars in the world, and you know marketing uh, proves out that it, you know it's known throughout the world. So you know that we we chose cars based on um, sort of what appeals, what it makes somebody interested, their aspirational value. So there's lots of different criteria. Cool. Well, we um, one car in particular that we revealed at E3 that's sitting right behind us is is the Shelby Super Snake, and uh, I know that we're not going to talk a little bit about this because we're going to be talking about this later on um, in a month or so. Uh, maybe you could just tell us why you guys decided to make this the cover car. Yeah. So obviously, you know, it's it's a race across America. So uh, you know, uh, American car obviously suits that. It gets the message across immediately. Um, also, the Super Snake is a seriously cool car. You yeah. know, when it's fully specced up, you know it's very powerful. Um, it has a good presence as well. You know, the, for with the Mustang, they've really relaunched the brand, yeah. and it's it's a fantastic car. Um, so we managed to uh, work with Shelby, and you know the sort of petrol heads amongst you will have noticed that it has a very subtle kit on it. So we've been able to Looks basically good. make it our own. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be. Unique. Cool. So we're gonna see a combination, you know, like you're saying, tuners, muscles, exotics, um, classics. Classics. When yeah. when you start off the run, are you gonna be in sort of like a, a like the some of the lower tier ones, or are you gonna start off with a hot car? Are uh, you gonna you're gonna have a, a selection to choose from. Oh. So it's you know you can you know if it, as you go through the run um, and in various modes, you know if you're interested in muscle or classic, there's gonna be options there. So it's you know, cool. It doesn't pigeonhole people. So there's it's, somebody yeah. that's playing, let's say, in Europe that has, you know, more interest in, I don't know, let's say, an exotic or supercar. You know, they, they'll have options as well. You know, cool. It's very important that you know we we have a wide range of cars. You know, that's why, you know, with ourselves and also with Shift as well. You know, it was very important that we get some of the classics in, and there's some really cool classics mm -hmm. that are going to get announced cool. soon as well. And that was a big thing, particularly with the car enthusiasts. You know, on the team that were working on this cool car design. Cool. Well, the um, when we published so this a, a couple of days ago, by the time everybody watches this video, we published the um, or we revealed that the Nissan Fair Lady 240ZG is going to be in yep. there, and that had an actually a, a very s surprising big reaction. Like, oh, well, I didn't think that there was going to be that big of a car. So it's good to see that you guys have put so much thought and effort into this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, next week we got a. a well, basically, we're going to be reeling the cars as soon as we get the uh, the screenshots from you guys. So we got yep. more car reel, reels coming this week. By the time everybody hears this, the Mazda will have gone up on Facebook. So uh, stay tuned, guys. And uh, Andy, we hope to have you on here again sometime sure. soon. Okay. Thanks, guys.